lead to conquer. Stallonia still there in second, but one in a million, John, is poised right behind them. And it's over to you now in the grandstand. And Queen of Conquer still just has the upper hand, but only just from one in a million towards the centre. Stallonia on the far side. They're making a run on the near side, Juve, and also Miss Sancia. They pass the three ball on from home marker. And Joe Mercer now presses the go button, and one in a million now takes it up. So one in a million now in the lead as they pass the bushes. Being chased by Jubilee, then come to Yuka. And then on the outside, Lyric Dance. They have a quarter mile still to go. And it's one in a million still in the lead from Jubilee. Then come to Yuka. And on the far side, Devon Diddy on the near side, Lyric Dance. But one in a million still has the advantage. They come past the final furlong marker. And it's one in a million in the lead from Jubilee. Yanuka trying hard to get on turn. So too is Devon Diddy. But it's all over. One in a million is in the lead. And finishing fast on the near side. Abbeydale, they come towards the line. One in a million is the winner from Abbeydale. Yanuka, top three finishes fourth. Run now towards the five furlong from home gate from Vocalist and Tolmy. And so they approach the five furlong gate with very footsteps in the lead from Vocalist and then towards the right of the pitch, which you look now, that is uh, Tolmy. And then on the outside then is also what heaven and so as they come now towards the final half mile pair of footstep in the lead from Berkeley that's the order back to Graham in the grandstand and then comes Tolmy and what heaven on the inside of these comes Grecian C Marwell just in behind these go leasing making up ground and with just over three furlongs to go it's fairy footsteps in the lead from Tolmy vocalist and then up on the outside what heaven Marwell just in behind these then comes go leasing and Grecian C on the far side just over two furlongs to go. Fairy footsteps from vocalist with Tolby making up ground. Then comes Marwell making a run. And then in behind these comes Kitty Hawk switch to the outside. A furlong and a half to go. Fairy footsteps has the advantage. Tolby in second place. Marwell third. Vocalist four. Kitty Hawk five. Then what heaven six. Inside the final furlong and Fairy footsteps has the advantage. But Tolby is challenging strongly. Fairy footsteps from Tolby. Then Marwell and vocalist and go leasing. Coming well inside the final 50 yards. It's Fairy footsteps holding on from Tolby. Fairy footsteps to win a Tolby in second and then go leasing in third. Colours on the far side, and on well on turns have one Stella Grand, then on the near side, Cash Lagoon, just in behind them comes Case in Padiga, and with that order, back to Graham. New tactics for Bella Calora, the leader from Al Bahathri with a nose band, Case in Padiga just in behind them, Stella Grand in the blue jacket, Ella Lang behind that one. Then comes Gloria of Hero and the favourite oh so sharp with the jockey with the white sleeves makes grand, but so too does Triptic in the pale blue jacket. Behind these comes Vilikaya. They've got just two and a half furlongs left to race in the general accident 1000 guineas in a wide open race too, with Triptic coming down on the very wide outside of oh so sharp, with up on the uh, inside Al Bahathri going for home. So too Bella Calora. More in the tank yet. They've got four furlong and a half to go. And Bella Calora regains the lead next to the rails from Al Bahathri in second place. Oh so sharp is third. Vilikaya is flying the finish with a white face on the very wide outside but inside the final furlong Alba Hathri and Bella Calora very little to choose between the two Lester Pickett and Tony Murray Bella Calora and Alba Hathri it's a ding-dong battle up towards the line a photo finish Alba Hathri and Bella Calora the nose so sharp and Vidikaya passing the five then and it's papering the lead up out in front by two lengths to My Melody Parks then Vince Salsa but on right a picture in the blue colours out wide then is Miss Universal followed by Bosra Sham and Mataira and back in the field to Made for the Hills an honest guest in the midfield inside the final half mile back to Grand in the grandstand. Now, Boss was sham on the outside with a start cap, and Padelli is just pushing her along now. She went through the pain barrier at Newbridge, she's getting closer. It's uh, papering in the lead. Here comes My Melody Parks in the nose band. Next to the rails with a striped cap in Salsa Bill. Now, Boss was sham's going forward on the outside. The pink cap, Matthias Bang there. Here comes My Branch, black cap looking for room next to the rails. Dance sequence starts to pick up. They're inside the final quarter mile. And next to the rails, the striped cap in Salsa Bill goes to home. Under pressure now, Boss was sham as they race down into the dip. It's been Salsa Bill and Bosra Sham and Bosra Sham goes on. Mattia now through the second, Bin Salsa Bill third. They're inside the final furlong. And it's Bosra Sham in the lead. She's sticking her neck out. Here on the outside comes Bin Shadayin and Mattia. But Bosra Sham is going to take it up towards the line. Bosra Sham is the winner. Bosra Sham takes it. Very close to second, Mattia and Bin Shadayin. In behind these as they pass the five comes Dazzle Reunion. Also getting close to his Moonlight Paradise under Frankie de Toy. Don't rule out Dance Parade. She's still there with chances. Uh, Yashmak on the wide outside of the pack. Elegant Morning getting a little bit closer. Sleepy Time is uh, in on the rails. And they come down past the halfway. And it's still uh, O'Nelly that just has the pace to lead here to Moonlight Paradise in second place. And on the outside, Paddle Repons pushed along now, Reams of Verse. Dazzle comes to the run. Sarah here next to the rails. Sleepy Time pushed along, but getting a little bit closer. And also Ocean Ridge ridden along now. And also coming with a bit of a run is Kassar. And they come down past the two furlong marker now. And it's still uh, O'Nelly in the centre of the track. Here comes Dazzle, one off the rail. 
Pada repulse down the centre, and Sleepy Time gets a run, and Kieran Fallon's got her into top gear now. They're inside the final furlong, and it's Sleepy Time into the lead. Two in second place, so Nelly Pada repulse and Dazzle, but they're a long way remote to this Sleepy Time, who's really drawing ahead at the line, and it's Sleepy Time and Kieran Fallon who take the 1,000, though Nelly is second. Running very free indeed, so they come towards the halfway stage, and on the far side, it's still Pescara, together with Fragrant Oasis 1 and 2, and then comes Imperial Beauty. Uh, in a good position is Green Sand, and just off the pace is Circle of Gold, the far side. Valentine Wall starts to run the far side as uh, Evening Promise fades. Meanwhile, uh, on the stand side, they're inside the final three furlongs now. On the stand side, it's still uh, Fairy Queen that uh, just has it, goes on. Wins the favourite, makes a move now and opens up, and there's room to come behind Capistrano Day. Inside the final quarter, a mile spread wide across the track, far side. Here goes Valentine Wolves to come and seize the race. Pescara, meanwhile, stand side wins his winning that battle from Hewlett to Capistano Day and right down the stand side. It's going to be grand, it's going to be a race up front. And Valentine Wolves and Wintz and Wintz is going to take it up towards the line. The subject of 1000 it is goes to Wintz, a photo for second place.